Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video we are going to see a model by Facebook which is called Segment Anything. And this particular model is is a beast in terms of extracting the information from an image. So till now we were just seeing the developments in NLP world when we when we are specifically talking about the generative models in NLP world and it was specifically targeting the informations from the text uh, or a bunch of uh, the articles or a bunch of the uh, blogs so it has been able to generate and extract the information from those uh, uh, text domains right but now we have a model that can generalize well on the images so essentially i remember that previous few months back when this model was not there uh, we were trying to annotate the images uh, by using an uh, by, by using a, a annotation tool and then we were trying to annotate and mark the mask for those images and we were struggling in those parts of the annotations and that's the beauty of this particular model that it's going to help you in particularly annotating the images and also extracting the objects from the images and then you can use that particular information that is being generated by this particular model for the training on your specific task so this model generalizes well on different kind of objects that are available and it has been trained on billions of images and and billions of masks and it is going to help in in uh, improving the performance of computer vision models that we are going to use in future scenarios and eventually this kind of models can also be used in parallel with uh, uh, large llm models by specifically prompting and getting the objects from the images so there is a huge development that are coming in future and this is a start of the ai and this is the this is a step by step that the that the companies are going and developing the 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 things out in a very generalized manner so if you go into this particular article about segment anything they have been displayed they have been displaying about a lot of things in this particular article uh, but majority of things are in terms of extracting the information from the image and the information is basically like extracting the objects from the image by creating a mask and getting the image outputs or or the object outputs from the images right so this particular model is generally a generalized model and it has been trained on billion images as I, as i discussed and it can generalize on any of the images and it can actually identify any of the objects in a particular particularly present in an image and if you scroll down this particular article or in this particular blog you want to see that they have uh they have trained on 11 million images and 1 billion masks and they have specifically made this uh, data set available online so basically you can download that particular data set and you can see that uh it is available and they have actually used this data set uh, with a lot of perfection and it is able to generalize on many of the objects that are available on the earth so they if you go into detail of that particular data sets you're going to see that they have uh, taken the images from each and every countries and they have general tried to generalize everything so it's a better data set Uh, compared to the coco data set that was available for image segmentation so now uh, with the help of this particular data set it makes this model very very helpful in generalizing the objects in the particular image right so this is the flow of working in the architecture form or it's a high level view on the architectures that they have been using so if you see on the right hand side they are that they are taking the up an image and an image encoder And so their image is being passed into the image encoder to create an embedding for that particular image so image encoder could be of anything it can be cnn it can be vit model so they have specifically used vit models uh, to generate an embedding for that particular image and then they also uh, parallelly passing the prompts uh, that can guide this particular image to what are the information to extract so you might have heard about the control net model uh, with st uh, stable diffusion that are trying to control the uh, information from that particular image to be uh, taken out and uh, uh, can be converted into different image forms right uh, similarly here we are trying to uh, control the image image embeddings uh, by giving some prompts to it right so if you see the prompts are specific basically like the points or the box or the mask so there can be different uh, prompts that you can pass into this particular embedding once the embedding is generated by the uh, by the particular image encoder so you're going to pass in the points uh, the specific location of a object that you want to extract from this particular embeddings uh, let's suppose a uh, image of an uh, uh, person wearing a t-shirt so maybe you want to extract the only the t-shirt not the person so you're going to 
mark the point of a t-shirt over the image and then that 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 is considered as a point or that that is considered as a prompt for that particular embedding or for that particular image and that particular point is being passed to the prompt encoder so indirectly once you select the point of a t-shirt it's going to be uh, encoded in some of uh, embedding form and then this particular embedding of image and the prompt encoder we're going to be added together and then it's going to be decoded with mask decoder and then finally the mask output will be generated so that's how the information is being flowing so uh, this is the basic uh, architecture that we are able to witness until up now we were just witnessing these kind of architectures with where we had an image and we are having an image encoder and we are trying to generate the output by using uh, encoder and decoder output right but now we are also trying to uh, give an information to the model with a particular prompts the prompts could be of point box or mask here in this case and you are just trying to pass in the uh, pass into the prompt encoder that encodes the prompts and then you're trying to generate the outputs so it's basically like a uh, language model uh, not a particular language model but it is based on the uh, philosophy of the language language model that we are trying to prompt this particular embeddings uh, to extract the information from those images so that is the beauty of this uh, uh, this particular development that is being happening and people are actually being getting inspired by these kind of developments and they are trying to pull out those developments into the different kind of uh, uh, experiments and different kind of AI world, right? So specifically, I can see that uh, some people are borrowing the things from the NLP world to the computer vision world, and some people are borrowing the computer vision world's information to the NLP world. So that is the basically uh, the AI is enhancing, and we can we can witness it very very well. So now let's move to the demo part. Uh, I won't take much of the time to demo this particular uh, things, but let's see a quick demo of it. So once you click on this demo button, you're going to be taken up to this particular page, right? And you can see there's a fox running. So let's suppose I want to extract this fox. So you can see it has already generalized this particular image. But now so I just specifically want to extract the uh, object from this particular image. So let's say I just want to extract this fox from this particular image. So I can what I can do is I can just hover over this particular image and I can click upon this point, right? So this is the when I click on this particular point, this is the guidance i am providing this is a prompt i am passing to this particular model and now it is able to extract the information for that those particular points from that particular embedding space of an image and it is trying to give me this information right so this is how the model is even got trained right so and let's suppose if i want to remove the some area i can click on this and i can get the uh, get the mask removed so that's how the model is understanding by giving the positive points and by giving the negative points and that's how uh, the things are being controlled and uh, this is how you can even try uh, the masking the things out in this by using this particular model so that's how i am i'm trying to focus that this is the controlling way this is how we can control the model in certain way by providing some prompts right so even you can also provide a, a boss box as an input or let's suppose i just click on this particular image right essentially now i just want to pass and prompt by using a box so i will create a box around this particular object and that's how the information is uh, being passed to the embedding space uh, with the prompt of the box information that is x y coordinates right so this is the prompt i am passing into the model to to get this desired object now you can i can also click on this everything and then it will segment every every object that is present in this particular image and i can also use this cutouts so let's suppose i specifically want to get the cutout of this particular image so i can just uh, mention that okay uh, let me just select this particular object and then i can just press on this cutout object to get the cutouts and it's going to be saved in this particular cutout objects right so that's that's the uh, demo part of this particular uh, model and so now let's just uh, take a code walk through uh, of this particular uh, model and then now we want to see how the things are working in the back end with respect to the code right so if you go into this particular facebook research uh, segment anything github repository you're going to find some very important information about the data set demo projects paper and everything you can read about this particular github and you can see the installation parts as well and you can see there are different segments are available to import the model and predict the uh, yeah, information from that particular image so the generalized information that is present in the github and then you can see some examples here you can also use it in the onyx export but you are not going to see this onyx part because it requires some hardware to be done and then you, you, they have released 
uh, weights of the different models so there are VIT HSAM model, VIT LSAM model and VIT PSAM model so you can use any of these models to uh, train it on or you can inference it on your own images right so, and they also release the data set and that data set has this kind of information uh, present in there so it is a JSON files uh, information uh, this is how the information is got stored in the JSON file for the annotations uh, you can take a look onto this and then we have some uh, contributor information right so this is the uh, github part and now if you want to go into the example notebooks you want to get, get into this notebook uh, file and then you have to open this uh, automatic marks generator example so this particular notebook we're gonna help you uh, in terms of segmenting all the information in a particular image so it's called a zero shot uh, extraction and then this particular predict example uh, notebook is gonna help you to uh, use the prompts like the point information box information and you're going to pass the point information box information on the particular image and then you can get the information from that particular selected points right so uh, this particular notebook is basically for uh, the prompting and guiding the model and this particular notebook is for generalized uh, extraction by using the zero shot so you, you can go through this particular or you can open it in the collab i'm not going to open that in collab because it's going to take a lot of time to do it but let's go through the uh, notebook of this and you can see if you want to use in collab you have to specify the using collab is equal to true and then you can start using in collab and then you can install these dependencies and you have to set up this uh, information and import the libraries and these are functions that they have prepared and then you have to uh, use these images that they provided you can also import your own images so this example they have been trying to generate the marks for each and every objects present in this particular image and now with this uh, uh with this import you gonna actually gonna uh, install these libraries from uh, meta uh, which is segment anything and then from segment anything you want to load the segment model registry segment automatic mass generator and stamp predictor and you're going to specify the same checkpoints that is a model checkpoint and a model type and then device type then you're gonna bind up the model uh using a uh, same model registry uh, given the model type and the same uh, same checkpoints then you send it to the device and then get the mass generator uh, object initiated so that's how you're going to generate the mass uh, object generator and then uh, once you pass in the uh, image to this particular mass generator you're going to get the following outputs uh, from this uh, image so once you pass in the image to this generator so it will generate a mask and this mask uh, variable consists of uh, a few things like segmentation area, body box, printed IOU, points, coordinates, stability score, and crop box. You can read about this. The basic things that are generally uh, in the computer vision world. And if you are uh, aware of this, you may be able to understand it very easily. Then uh, the output is something like this. Uh, and then you can see the output in the form of image. And see it is fairly able to identify the different type of objects. And then you can also uh, print the IOU box, which is present uh, um, in the in this particular uh, information, right? The mask information, the mask uh, uh, variable, uh, which has all this information present in the segment and the area and the body box. You can extract the information for each and every segmented area. And that's how the information is present in this particular uh, image. And then you can also play with some of the uh, uh, parameters that are present in this SAM automatic mask generator. So essentially, uh, at the top, we didn't pass any of the parameters. It was just uh, by default parameters that was present. But yes, we can also uh, pass in some parameters inside this particular uh, generator. And we can play with this uh, parameters to get more signified information from this particular image. So maybe in some of the scenarios, this model might not be working great uh, for some of the objects. So you can play around with this uh, threshold part like uh just take a uh, 0.9 confidence level objects and ignore all the less uh, confident uh, objects from this particular image so that's how you're gonna uh, improve the uh, model performance also and segmentation information from this particular image also you can also play around with this points per slide uh, which is basically taking the uh, points uh, around a specified point that you can pass in uh, so it's gonna take 32 points around the particular points uh, for that particular objects to classify that as an uh, as a particular object uh, for, uh, for a particular segmentation to be done. So that is the part that is taking up care. Maybe you can read about this uh, in the GitHub repo uh, pi files uh, around this, uh, which is built on this particular generator, right? And then uh, this is the same thing that is going to be done. You can see there's a little difference. 
uh, once they fine tuned it, you, you can see that essentially there was no uh, there was no segmentation was done at the part of top of the head of the um, uh, dog. But you can see there is some uh, further uh, further segmentation has been done. Uh, on the dog part and there is some different segmentation coming up so you can play around with this particular thresholds uh, uh, and it should work uh, for for the particular scenarios and it will be able to help you in segmenting the objects in a better way so now let's move to the uh, different part of this uh, uh, approach where we have to just give a prompts and we have to essentially have to guide the model to specifically identify the objects that we want to identify in a particular means not all the information but you have seen that here we identified all the information in a particular image but now we want to just specifically identify the spe spe specific objects in the particular image so in that case uh, you can look into this particular notebook uh, predictor example and then you can come up over here and you can set up the same things and you can specify uh, using underscore collab is called true if you want to use it in collab and then you have to set up the files uh, or the libraries that are available and then you have to set up the coordinates and this set up the function that are available so we're going to take the example of a truck and then this is the image of a truck so in this particular image we are just going to identify uh, the window of a truck or the whole truck and then we're going to identify the wheel of a truck so these are specific objects from a particular image so we're going to use prompts that is the point and the box information to guide the model to identify the specific information from that particular image and segment that particular information right so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just load up the model as it is like how we discuss and in a similar way and then we are going to set the predictor uh, over the image so that now this particular image is now set with the predictor object uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to just identify the points uh, we are going to pass in the points that are available in this particular image right so uh, let's suppose I just want to identify the window objects in this particular image you can see specifically with smart star so this is the point and this has been plotted in this particular image so if you see this particular plot and this object is present here in somewhat 500 comma uh, somewhere around 380 right so uh, this is the coordinate that i'm going to pass in and this is the input point that it becomes so this is the object that i identified at this coordinate and now i'm going to pass in the input level as one so this input level one uh, or zero and is is mentioning that uh, one means the foreground object and zero means the background object so once you mention one that means it's, it will just identify this object as a foreground object and if you mention uh, multiple objects uh, like there will be multiple coordinates then and if you mention it at zero uh, comma zero then it's gonna be like uh, a background object so that's how uh, if you want to identify a particular object uh, from a particular image then you have to specify it as a foreground to identify it as an object so right now we are just we are just seeing as an input point and an input level for that particular object and then uh, this is the input object that we are going to pass in and then we are going to pass uh, this particular information of input points and input label in the predictor.print object and then we are going to specify multi mass output is equal to true so which is by default it is present as true so what it what does this mean is that uh, if you're going if you're going to pass in this input points and input label it's going to give you some multiple mass uh, let's say three masks, top three masks that are going to predict output for you and then out of those three masks you can take the highest score or highest component mask uh, for your own object and then you can use that particular mask for uh, for your particular uh, uh, image to get identified as, as a segmented object right so this is the function of this multiple uh, mask output and if you if you set it to false it will just give you a single mask output based on the confidence score uh, so this is the thing that you can take care of while predicting the output and then it's going to give you three important informations mask scores and logics so based on these scores you can identify or you can just select the mask which is, which is very uh, high in confidence scores right so this is the information that you can take it from here and right now we set it to mask uh, true so it's going to give the three mask output and you can see the output of three masks here uh, the mask one gave this particular object so if we pass the model uh, as a foreground to identify it right and the second mask would be something like this it is identifying whole window and the third mask is uh, the whole car so this is not the thing that we wanted we want something this to be happening right this whole window to be identified so we can see the mask 2 has a good brilliant score so we're going to take this uh, mask and get the object uh, from this particular uh, image so that's the beauty of this 
prompting and scoring the things out, uh, scoring uh, uh, the mask and getting the output in the form of uh, the prediction scores, right? And then you can select the best mask for your particular object, uh, for the particular image, and then get the object from it. So now we're gonna specify multiple inputs to the model. So let's so let's say if you have a uh, if you got this particular image and then you are not able to get the right right object in a particular image. So you, what you can do is you can additionally specify uh, some different points around that particular previous point, and then you can get uh, the right desired segment model uh, segment objects for that particular image. So let's say uh, I I just want to extract more uh, windows that, that was near to this particular point. So I may pass more uh, information or more points um, near to that particular point that, that I have passed essentially. And then I'm going to mask it as uh, a mark it as a label as one one because I just want to identify both of this point as uh, in, in my particular object of an image, right? So, so these are the information. Uh, these are multiple information that I'm going to pass in. And then I'm going to specify the logics. And then I'm going to pass this particular information in this uh, print object, input point, input label. And then this time I'm trying to give the uh, mask multi mask output as false. Uh, so I will just getting the one mask with highest competence level. So this is the thing that I'm going to get and then I'm going to plot it. So you can see uh, this is the uh, plot that they have given, right? So they have essentially uh, clicked on this particular image and they got this point over here and then they got this point over here. So now they got the uh, only one mask. So it says that you're trying to identify this particular truck in a particular image so that's how the segment model has has been guided to extract the information now it is trying to extract the truck so that's how you can do it on or let's say if you want to uh, these are the information uh, that is being taken from the previous outputs so, so it is taking up uh, this is information so these are the information that has been taken uh, from the previous inputs and now let's say you don't want uh, the truck to be identified right so what it's going to be doing it you want to just mention this label as zero so now it will go to the background so this particular uh, point that you selected here it, it's going to go to the background and it will just print out or it will just select the segmented object for this particular point so this is the same thing that you're going to uh, take it up pass into the print object and then you're going to get this kind of point so you, you can see it has now identified only this uh, uh, window window part of this particular particular tug and it is try to uh, extract this uh, or remove this particular truck object uh, with system specified is that a background object and now uh, you can do the same thing by using the bonding box information so let's say you don't want to click this particular point you just want to drag and drop or you can create a bonding box or technical box around this particular object to identify it as a segment so you can do that also if you have x y and other coordinates of the uh, rectangle box you can just take it as an input box and then you can pass into the predictor object and you can get the objects around this particular uh, bonding box information that you're passing in and you can also combine the points in the boxes so you can also pass in the input box information and the also input point and then you can also pa pass the la label and you can pass into the split method to get the uh, points plus box information to get more uh, guided information guided uh, segmented object from this particular image you can also pass multiple objects. So let's, so let's say you have multiple objects present in an Im image and you want to specify uh, those particular images or objects in this particular image. So you can also pass in the uh, bonding box information. Also, uh, you can pass in the points of this particular image uh, objects in the images and get the uh, output for all those images. So this is the, this is where the batch prompt input comes in. So you're gonna pass in the multiple uh, box or multiple objects information into this particular uh, printer object and then you'll get this kind of information. So these are the multiple information that you're gonna get it from the uh, printer objects. And this is the end-to-end -end batch inferencing that they have displayed it on, on multiple uh, images. And you can see that it is able to do it for multiple objects present in the image. So this is this is the beauty of this particular model that it is able to generalize it on all the images, uh, mostly on all the images, and then it is you are trying to guide that particular model by using a prompts like points or the bonding box information to get the right object identified and segmented in a form of some information. So that's how you can use this particular model, and you can try to use it on the collab first, and then you can try it on 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 your own uh, laptops, and you can try to check and try to click on this particular images or the objects in the particular images to get the information from them. 
so this kind of model uh, will be useful in in labeling the things out so let's suppose you must be using uh, manual annotation uh, for segmenting out for uh, image segmentation tasks so maybe you can use this kind of models uh, to help you on segmenting the things out in just one click you can segment the objects in present in an image and then you can improve the process of annotation faster the process of annotation and with a great accuracy so this is the beauty of this kind of model that you can use it and you can improve the uh, accuracy of your segmentation uh, annotation and then you can proceed with the training of the uh, for your down downstream task so this is the uh, generalized model that you can use it for mostly for your annotation and if you want to use this kind of model for other purposes like you just want to extract the information from the images uh, like t-shirt shirt or um, any of the information from the images you can use those information and then you can use those extract information to create or something different uh, by using classification models or regression models so that can also be done uh, but you can you can find a different purpose of using these kind of models uh, these are the two type of purpose that i found it to be very useful and then you can also utilize this for any other purposes so i hope uh, you enjoyed this particular video if you like this particular video please do subscribe my channel thank you